Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today we're going to be learning how to remove the background of an image without losing any of the texture or transparency. This is a great tip if you'd like to remove the background from a piece of art you've created, or to take a piece of hand-drawn type like you see on your screen. This technique is perfect for this hand-drawn brush font, because it allows us to place it onto a photograph or coloured background without losing any of the texture or transparency. And why not take it one step further and create your own SVG hand-drawn font using this technique? It really will be as easy as pressing one button once we're through with today's tutorial. If you'd like to follow along at home, head to the description below and click on the link which will take you to download today's Photoshop file from Pixel Surplus. So begin by opening up the Photoshop file. Now that you have your Photoshop file opened, let's take a look around. Head over to the Layers panel and you should find the Creative Brush font as well as the Background Photo. For this tutorial, we'll also need to open the Actions panel by heading to Windows, Actions, as well as the Channels panel by heading to Window, Channels. We're going to be creating a Photoshop action. Photoshop is going to record each and every button press that we make and at a click of a button, we'll be able to perform this task again, saving you loads of time. So probably best to watch through this video once, making sure you get all of the steps right before recording your action the second time. So let's begin by opening the actions panel and clicking on create new set. Go ahead and name this new set remove background. With your new set selected, head to the bottom click create new action. I'm going to name this Remove Background. Once you've named your new action, hit record. Now remember any action made from here on out will be remembered by Photoshop. If you make a mistake, just follow these first few steps again. It won't take very long, I promise. Let's begin by selecting everything inside the Create layer. You can do this by hitting Ctrl or Command A. With everything selected, head to the bottom of the Channels panel and choose Load Channel as Selection. And right next to it, click on the Save Channel as Selection. This will create a channel in your channel panel called Alpha 1. Hold Control or Command and click Alpha 1. We need to inverse the selection. So with Alpha 1 selected, head to Select, Inverse, or Shift Control I. Now head to the Layers panel and create a new layer. We're going to go ahead and turn off the visibility for the Creative Brush font. With our new layer created, make sure that you have black in your foreground colour picker. Head to Edit, Fill, Foreground Colour, Normal and 100% Opacity. Click OK. Next, deselect by hitting Ctrl or Command D and finally, Head to the Actions panel and click Stop Recording. Next, turn off the visibility for the Creative layer and turn on the visibility for the background. You should now have black text on top of your image. We're going to change that text to white. So head to your new transparent text layer, head down to Effects, Color Overlay, and inside the Color Picker, select White. Awesome. Now you know how to remove white backgrounds from artwork in Photoshop. And to show how great actions are in Photoshop, I'm going to go and open the file again. With my layer selected, I head to the Actions panel and select the action Remove Background, click the play button, and there you have it. In a few clicks, I've gone from a white background artwork to transparent background artwork. Thanks for watching. 